What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another breaking news story. And more top players have been restricted to staying in their hotel rooms for 14 days without being allowed to go out and train on court ahead of the Australian Open. Only a couple of weeks away now. So they are not allowed to come out of their hotel rooms at all for the next 14 days. Some big names as well. So here's the situation at the moment. There were five positive cases on two of the chartered flights that came into Melbourne. One from LA and one from Abu Dhabi, totaling 72 players who are now in a full quarantine. So what's a full quarantine? It means that for the next 14 days, they are not allowed to leave their hotel rooms and they are not allowed to practice on court. Whereas the players that are allowed to go practice, they're allowed five hours a day out of their hotel rooms for the next 14 days. Let's go have a look at the list of players. So we talked about this the other day. We have Azarenka, Nishikori, Stevens. Adding to that list, we have Sandgren, who actually tested positive only a couple of weeks ago. We have Watson, Kerber, Grand Slam champion, of course, Sakari, Jabor, Quavos, Putin Seva, Kastea, Bencic, Pospisil, and the US Open champion of 2019, Andrescu, whose coach actually tested positive on one of those flights. So here's one of the five confirmed cases from those flights. So there you have it. Those are the players that are not allowed allowed to go out and train. Let me know down in the comments below if I missed anybody, because like I said, 72 players are not allowed to go out and train during the 14 days. They have to stay in a hotel room, basically in one room for 14 days, while others are allowed to go out and practice five hours a day ahead of the Australian Open. And there's not just small names in this one. There's Andrescu, there's Azarenka, players that are real contenders at this slam, they're not allowed to practice ahead of one of the biggest tournaments in the tennis world and on the tennis calendar. The Australian Open is still going ahead, but some players are going to be at a huge disadvantage.